Hey guys, what's going on? It's Devon Cyrus of SC Reports, and it's great to see you guys here. So guys, let's talk. Ty Lawson is on the move one more time. He is signing with the Kings on a non-guaranteed one-year deal. So again, this is another chance for Ty Lawson to try to just pick himself up. Now, you know, two years ago, he had a really promising season, you know, and in that summer last year, he had that DUI charge. He just he just wasn't looking good. He was drinking a lot. Someone said they checked into rehab. And when he came back, he just wasn't focused. He didn't look focused. He was absolutely awful, you know. Then he went to Indiana. Everybody said, okay, this is great. New place for him. He's a point guard that likes to pass. This could work well with Paul George. Didn't get any minutes or playing time, you know. So this is another chance for Ty Lawson to rebound and have a great season. Now, we know that Ty Lawson can do this because he has shown and produced for a few years before his DUI charge and all the alcohol problems. So I, I do expect him to have a bit of a resurgence. I do kind of feel bad for Nick Collison, however, because even before Rondo came and took his spot, you know, he was doing such a good job at the point guard position. And, you know, here comes another point guard that maybe, you know, the Kings are just pushing Nick Collison down, doing whatever they can not to give him minutes. But at the end of the day, I think it's going to be healthy competition. I think Nick Collison will win and be the starting point guard for now. I think Ty Lawson may need some time to get back on his feet. But overall, again, Ty Lawson on the Kings. What do you guys think? Put it in the comment section below. Share it with your friends. And guys, I'll see you in the next video.